is almost 7 a.m. in the morning, first day of the month, October 1st, 2013. Got to head up into uh, the Salt Lake Valley, be up there by 8, so that we're in position for a skip that we've been looking for for quite some time. We got information from the uh, attorney's office that he's got a court date at 8.30 in West Valley at the Justice Court, and so we're hoping he's going to drive the vehicle to court and then get it picked up today. And we've got a couple of other accounts to run while we're up there. One's a GPS, another one we've just got a neighborhood <laughs> coordinates of where the vehicle might be, and then another one's a skip locate. we got a new skip locate address on that Maroon Yukon, but uh, got to sleep at about 3 o'clock this morning. Got it back up at six, so <laughs> running on three hours of sleep right now. Uh, over the last 48 hours, 24 hours, I've got Shanda's surgery tomorrow morning. Um, no, 48 hours because yesterday was Monday and I worked a 12 hour shift the night before that until six o'clock Monday morning. I guess I got a few hours sleep, but Monday morning too, so six hours over the last 48 hours and then uh, a full day today and then back up at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning for Shanda's surgery yeah by uh, Wednesday night when she's in the hospital I'm gonna be crashed out cold <laughs> little futon bed next to hers roll away cot Anyhow, yeah, another morning. Oh, after a boring moment, my line of work, that's for dang sure. Jump over to the uh, next morning. It's almost 8 o'clock now. I've been up since 6. I uh, went to bed at 2. So I've got 3, 4 hours of sleep. Got back to the three hours of sleep I got 24 hours ago after I got off my graveyard shift up at the ski resort. And I've got a whopping six hours in the last 48 hours. Oh, exhausted. I got Shanda's surgery tomorrow morning in the a.m. Got to be up at 4 or 5 a.m. to get her up to the hospital by 7 a.m. So by tomorrow night, I'm going to be good and ready to crash in her hospital bed. So glad to get that ileostomy reversed though. We are heading to Salt Lake right now. Got a uh, almost year old skip on a white Jeep Grand Cherokee. I think it's like a 2007. Looking for this thing for quite some time. Finally got information from the uh, attorney's office that He's got a court date this morning at 8.30. So in 30 minutes, he's supposed to be at the West Valley Justice Court building. And we're hoping that our Jeep's going to be there. Timing it so that I'm there right when he would be getting dropped off. If he was getting dropped off, people usually don't get dropped off unless I know they're like going to sentencing. They might be doing some jail time or something. But typically, people take a family member with them or they'll go with somebody day like that, but uh, we're hoping he's just going to show up in a Jeep, trying to get this thing hooked, and our day progresses after that, a whole bunch of stuff going on, GPS, locate, not working on it, what is that vehicle, Hyundai Sonata? Accent. We've got a Chrysler 300M that we don't have an exact address on. Just a neighborhood that it is living in, out in the same area as the courthouse. So we'll do a little grid pattern search out there a little bit, so we can't get lucky. We'll find this white 300M, and then we've got that maroon Yukon that's still open. We've got a new skip locate address that's been sent over from the professional locators out of Vancouver, Washington. 
buddy James, awesome skip locator, foam fisher, we've got a pH, and then we've got to roll into a uh, brand new one right in downtown Salt Lake, I believe, after that. So yeah, long day, lots of hours right now. It's that time of year. Traffic was a little bit thicker than expected. Heading up here, I left myself about a 30 minute buffer time. So I was planning on being up here by eight o'clock, about a half hour early. And when we came over the point of the mountain, dead stop traffic and uh, ate up our 30 minute window which now puts us here right at 8.30 actually 8.34 I'm actually 4 minutes behind so good thing I gave myself that buffer window otherwise I'd be here at like 9 and running the risk of missing the sky altogether. Hey look, it's me. Just newer. White 06 Jeep Grand Cherokee. There's the courthouse. There's a white Jeep. It's a little guy. It's a Patriot. White Patriot. And then an older green Cherokee in front of it. Got a picture of what this guy looks like. So if I don't see the vehicle out here in the parking lot in the next few minutes, I'll uh, take all the weapons off my person and go into the courthouse. See if I see him in there. And if I see him in there, the vehicle's not out here. Oh, I thought that was it. So our plate's a Charlie 325, and that's a Charlie 320 on a silver Jeep. False alarm. So that's how that's Charlie 32. I thought I had it. So close. Three, two, zero. So I'm not seeing the vehicle here yet. He's only nine minutes late. And if he's a seasoned court participant, he knows that he could be in there for a couple hours easy. So a lot of people will show up 20, even 30 minutes late. And still be okay. Still in the put getting their name called on the roster. So we're gonna pull over here and park, and watch all the traffic come in, watch for our Jeep. Hope today's our lucky day. All right, so we checked all the parking over there behind the courthouse. Now we're here on the other side of the train tracks. It's like a business complex over here. Oh, I see a white Jeep. Oh, no way, that's our plate. <laughs> parked on the other side of the railroad tracks. That is our plate around this cop car. Oh my gosh. Up at 6 a.m. for this repo. Looking for this guy for a year. There it sits right there. Yep, that's our plate. Oh, I hear the sigh of freaking relief. That is it right there. Nothing worse than spending a whole morning doing what I'm doing to come up with nothing. Get one of your 
just right so we get this thing perfectly centered. I'm gonna throw the dollies on it. Got a tow haul mode if we have a key, which would be nice as I wouldn't have to throw the dollies. Neutral, and a four low setting. So, yeah, if we uh, could get a key, we'll put this thing in neutral, tow it as is. Keys on these things are pretty expensive. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hang out for a minute. Let's see if this guy shows up. I always like to face your long skips. Let's see what they have to say. What? Why are you repoing me? What's this all about? I don't understand. Yep. It's time to grip and glue to that spot right there. Year old skip. steering will lock on it too. It's got a car parked in front of it, but if that car moves, I don't want to get any crazy ideas that he can drive it off my lift or anything, so hopefully the steering will lock on it, make it clear that we've got it. And then uh, get a key out of this kid and put this thing in the neutral. If can't get a key out of him, then I'll have to throw it up on the dollies. I also don't want to sit here all day long waiting for him. Someone's gonna be in court. It's around nine o'clock, so he had an 8:30 calling. Of course, he's not gonna be too happy when he comes out of court just to find out that he's on foot. That is the day he's having. Hey, how you doing, officer? How are you? Yeah, we're getting for you.
ask us to not wait for him to get out of court. That old man that walked over here asked me if I was doing a repo or not. I told him I couldn't say. So he called it in and the police came over here, verified our information, and they called it in. She called it in for me, so one less phone call I had to make. I was actually in the process of doing that when she came up on me. But I'm going to start loading the dollies up. I'm going to have to dolly it down. If he happens to come out while we're loading the dollies, I'll get a key out of him, but if he doesn't, they've asked us to wrap this up, so she's going to sit there and probably watch and make sure I keep working. Yeah, the officer sat there the whole time I put the dollies on, and when she saw me, Popped the last one up, she pulled out and left in kind of a quick hurry. So my guess is she got a call of some kind. Otherwise, she probably would have sat here until we left. Right, we got the dollies all loaded up. I cannot believe that broke in half. Let's go get a new one. So I think I've got a couple spares at the, back at the office, but that one there lasted almost four years. come back by make sure that we're out of here when, after she's done doing whatever she left to go do should be nice to be able to get keys it's also nice that we have these empty parking spots so I can pitch this thing this is a tight yeah, all these empty parking spots in front of me. Empty parking spots on either side of the Jeep. Be able to pitch my nose. I can get around the front of this car right here. That's the way out, but I'm actually going to go this way, wrap around the parking lot once. A little stall tactic, I'm leading, but slowly. Someone can tell you to leave, but I can't tell you how, to, how quick to leave. The law doesn't specify how fast you have to move, it just says you have to move. Our great and many talents and tactics when we want to hang around an area legally is to uh, move. <laughs> no matter how fast or how slow, I am moving right now. I am leaving. It would take me a half hour to get out of this parking lot if I wanted to. Such is the job. Empty parking spot right where you left the vehicle. It does appear that we are not going to have any kind of contact. I get a lot of people like, I wish you could have left a camera behind or could have seen the look on their face or heard the conversation that took place when they came out and saw their car gone. Like a ninja, just show up, disappear, boom, boom. He'll be looking around, looking around, take him a minute to figure out which row he was on. And then once he's looked pretty good, he'll realize pretty quickly what has taken place. I'll either call 911 or the bank or a ride. One of those three, right? I guess he's right here at the bus station. He could also just take a bus. <sighs> Nothing 
something like repoing out of a government complex. Get the cops call on you quick style.